Hello, welcome to a nice quick video. Um, I will be showing you what I think about the Tesla Model 3 2021 uh, made in China model uh, with the LFP batteries. I've had this car for just over 10 weeks and I do drive a lot. So I have done uh, just over 15,000 kilometers in the 10 weeks. There's a lot of videos that I've seen on the internet that basically say like, I'm reviewing the car, but I doubt that the person reviewing the car has done as much driving as what I have. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and uh, let's uh, have a look. All right, so this is the front of the car. This is just the standard range plus. You get the uh, 18 inch tires with the aero caps on them. Um, I'm currently at a place called 1770, which is nice and blue skies. The ocean is just behind. Uh, I don't know if I can zoom in. Maybe I can. Yeah. Ooh, that looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, normally it should be good. But anyway, this is about the car, not about the ocean. Um, so I have been charging this car. I'm uh, from Brisbane. And I've driven all the way up to here to 1770, which is about 570 kilometers away. To do the route, I had to, you're gonna to have to Google, look on Google Maps. Um, so Brisbane to Gympie, Gympie to Jinjin, and Jinjin to uh, 1770. No superchargers or any fast chargers here, so the mobile charger is what I've been using. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. There you go. It plugs into a, just a regular um, 10 amp socket. The kit does come with a 15 amp one, um, but most places don't have 15 amp sockets unless they are a caravan. Um, so I'll show you inside the car. I do have the non-standard sports pedals added to this car. If you do get the standard range plus, you will just get rubber mats. Um, this is the screen. There's two wireless charging pads. Uh, let me show you here. There you go. Just over 15,000 kilometers. So interior of the car, amazing. Ease of drive, amazing. If you are thinking about what type of car I should buy in the future, definitely go an electric. I'm not too fussed if the general population don't go for a Tesla, but fork out the extra money and get a Tesla if you if you think it's worth it. Um, some of the infrastructure that's already around here in Australia has been uh, very good to know, to have access to it, as opposed to a different ordinary electric car. Um, you won't be able to access the Tesla infrastructure. So maybe do get the Tesla. Mm. Um, I'll show you in the back. I've got my dog here in the back. Hello Panda, how's it going? <laughs> this is just a nice uh, affordable um, pet carrier that you can buy off Amazon for roughly about $40. It just sits on the back of the, um, uh, what do you call it, headrest and uh, just contains your dog in the middle. There's a nice vent here so aircon can come through nice and cool. Um, two air, two USB Type C ports on the back there, and another two uh, USB Type C ports in the glove box compartment. Sorry, center console compartment. Just a bunch of crap down there, but there is ports down there. I've got seat covers on this car, so they're not the standard ones, but it's to protect the seats door handles if you've never seen a Tesla before you just push your thumb in there and pull on the handle and you'll get in there's a automatic lift gate just press the button and it'll open up plenty of boot space here I'll just do a little quick um, show around so the boot space on this size side seems to be nice and flat against the wall but on this side, it takes up more space. I don't know why. 
something is behind there, batteries, I'm not sure, whatever it is, it has made it so that if you want to put two large full-size suitcases in here, it's not going to work. I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. You can do all the Tetris thing you want, but two large um, suitcases will not fit in here. Upwards, left, right, whatever it is, it won't. Um, so it's mainly suited for a large size suitcase and maybe a small carry-on. Uh, there's another, this is a rubber mat you can buy, another Amazon product. Uh, you can lift up down here. Down here you've got another cubby hole with more storage space. The Tesla um, safety cone and all the first aid stuff is in that kit. Um, that's about the boot. Press here, and it will shut. Um, so what what do I think of, of the electric car, the Tesla? Amazing, it's really good. Um, every time I go to a charging station, I always get a random person come up to me and say, is it worth getting a Tesla? Do you reckon it's worth it? And I've got to say, yeah. Uh, the other day I had a guy asking me, um, what don't you like about the car? Which was an interesting question. And I think my only gripe about what I don't like about this car is that it's any um, JC bars. I think, uh, I, I think some people call them JC bars, but you know the bars that are normally on the outside for you to grab onto at the top of the frame of the car there's none you've got that but that's for like hanging up your expensive suit <laughs> if that's what you want to use it for um, that's the only thing that I don't like about the car uh, indicator it's on this side so if you've never driven a European type car you're gonna be confused as hell because on your normal cars uh, your indicators on that side to change your gears you just go you lift it up and that will put it in reverse, you push it down, I'll go and drive, and the park, you push it in. Um, I, I feel like I'm missing something, but um, I'll probably do another follow-up video, just give me some feedback about this one. Uh, 2021 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus is what this is. Fantastic car. Um, oh, I know what I, what I can talk about. Um, how far can you drive this thing? Everyone's always worried about how far can you go? Will you run out of charge? And uh, it's all about planning. So where I am at the moment, 1770, uh, we, me and my wife yesterday drove down to Bundaberg, which is, you know, I'll just flip the camera. So we went to... Charge Fox Station at Burnett Heads. It's just through Bundaberg. And you can see on the map here, way here. It will navigate all the way through there, and you'll get there. Now you can see the car is at 99%, and hey, I want you to come back down. It's saying here, you will arrive at the charging station with 61% battery. You can do a round trip, and you'll come back here at 23%. The these estimates are pretty spot on, I've got to give it that, but the estimate will only be based on if you do go this route. If you decide to like go in and then come back out and then go around, it's gonna, it's gonna change that. Um, charging time to go back to 100% on a 50 kilowatt DC charger took around 36 minutes. Um, so if you've got plenty of time, it's not gonna be any, any concern. To go back to Brisbane, I go here. Du, 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 du. Well, let's go here. Cafe 63 Ann Street, Fortitude Valley. It's close to Brisbane. So we've got all the way. It's going to calculate it here. Drive southwest on Round Hill Road for 27.8 kilometers. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, here, it's calculating the total trip. All right, 474 kilometers. So not as long as I thought. <laughs> uh, it's saying that you can go all the way from here to Gympie 
uh, and get to Gympie with 11%. I've never done that. I've normally charged at Jinjin, which is a little bit closer, and it has made it so that we arrive at Gympie with more than uh, 40, 45% battery. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd feel comfortable doing that. I'm not sure. But the range that I have been seeing is you'll do around 180 to 210 kilometers, and you'll have uh, around 53 to 56% battery left. Um, if that's concerning you, just pay the extra and go for the long range version. You'll get a bigger battery and maybe you'll have a, less, a lot less things to worry about. Charging times using the mobile charger that I'm using here at 1770 is quite slow because it can only pull two kilowatts uh, at eight amps, which is pretty slow. Um, so from 56% to 100, you're looking at about 16 hours to charge. At home, I've got the high power wall charger on a single phase, which gives me eight kilowatt at 32 amp, which from 50% state of charge to 100 is roughly three and a bit hours. So not as long as using a mobile charger, which is limited by the two kilowatt speed, but it's better than nothing. Um, thank you for watching my video and I'm sure I'll do another video. I just thought I'd do a, a quick recap of what, how I'm traveling with this car. I've had no issues whatsoever. I've filled up the windscreen fluid and I've rotated the tires. That's the only thing that I've done on this car just over 15,000 kilometers. All right, thanks for watching and I'll post another video soon.